No way. All wild shiners. Look at that fish right there. That's so cute. That's the biggest bass I've collected. <laughs> What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We got a big old cooler right here. And the goal today is to catch a whole bunch of bait to stock the backyard pond. We're gonna be using the cast net to just hit all these ponds and see what we can catch. Get this net already. Love these cast nets, man. Never know what you're gonna catch. Last time we were here, we actually caught a baby turtle in the cast net and we put him in the pond. I'm not sure how he's doing. He was literally like this big and the pond's about the size of a football field. so. We we'll probably won't see him till he's a little bit older, but let's see what we can catch. Money, dude. What the? What's that thing? Whole big old tilapia. Definitely a breeding one. So we're not gonna take her and we'll release her back in there. And she'll go. We're really aiming for the smaller ones so they can grow up, then have babies, but we don't want to take any that are already having babies from here. That way the population stays going and we can come back here and do this again. Take a cast where it's a little calmer. See if that changes it up. Pancake. Oh yeah, I see stuff. I feel stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. We got one big old boy, but we got a whole bunch of smaller ones, and those are all tilapia right there, so get them in this bucket is exactly what we're looking for. Nice tilapia. So these are two different kinds of tilapia. This is a spotted tilapia, and this is just like your common tilapia. You can definitely tell the difference in the two. There they go. Another one. Ooh. Even got some little mollies in there. This right here is gonna be a new species added to the pond but these are a great bait fish. Peacock bass will eat them, largemouth bass will eat them, and they multiply by the thousands, so that's definitely a good fish to have. Yep. Jumped, jumped out. out. <laughs> Go back in there, buddy. That's cool. I'm feeling this was a good cast. What do we got? Oh my gosh, we got shad! No way! Oh, bro! Giant gizzard shad, not giant, but good size ones. Look at that shad right there. We got three total. Let's get the rest of the fish. Dude, this is the biggest minnow I've ever seen. Look at that thing. Got some little tilapia and a couple larger ones. All right, everything's in this bucket. We're gonna run it back to the cooler because it's about full and they'll have a lot more space. Is that all of them? Yep. Wow, that was a good cast right there. Got a whole bunch of different species in that one throw. Gizzard shad, little minnows, tilapia, and uh, that's it, but those shad alone are definitely worth it because bass absolutely love them, and if we can get those kind of breeding in the pond, and eventually there would be so many to the point where they can eat the shad, but there's also some left over, so <sighs> I'm out of breath, but. Oh, what the heck? Whew. Round one down, round two to go. Oh my God, dude, I'm feeling a bunch of stuff in this net. I feel it like kicking. Holy tilapia. We just hit the mother load. Nice size ones. Ew. Ow, he got me. Oh my gosh, they're jumping out of this bucket. Don't worry guys, we're gonna give you a nice home. Better than this, you get free food every single day. Big boy, we're gonna release. Woo. Yo David, can you catch brother? This is my left end. I'm a righty, guys. 
Bad throw. Let me just tell you real quick how hot it is here in Florida right now. Summertime, so pushing like probably 100 degrees right now. I'm not even kidding you. I'm drenched in sweat. Wish I had some bingo brand right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, fish are jumping out of the net. Bro, bro. We have so many little tilapia, it's insane. We also did catch some bluegill, but that was a bycatch. We can't take these guys with the cast net, so we're just gonna toss them back, let them go their way. But all the tilapia and cichlids, we could take those all day. Okay, got a whole bunch of baits in this bucket here. Wow, I'm literally drenched in sweat, but show you guys real quick what we got all giant tilapia like that there is a few smaller ones but majority are these big boys and that's good because nothing can really eat them at that size that way they're able to grow up and eventually have babies boom see you guys at the next spot all righty we're here at the second spot we're gonna see what we can catch here but um, when we first walked up, we saw a bunch of Mayan cichlids. We don't have that yet, so see if we can get some. Okay, right in this pocket here. See a bunch of fish on top of the water there. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but they look like Mayan cichlids. I'm like 90% sure. We're about to find out though. <laughs> Bro? Bro, do you see all that? <laughs> what the? Yo, what is that? What are those things? Bro, those are all golden shiners. I swear to God, look at this. All wild shiners. No way. Look at this. Bro, we gotta get these in the cooler ASAP and we're dipping home. That's insane. We just got shiners, wild golden shiners for the pond. I want to get these guys in the cooler ASAP just because they're not the hardiest when they're that small, but um, they have a better chance of surviving just going straight in. That's what we're gonna do here. Boom. Holy cow, David, give me some. That's really rare. We gotta get back ASAP because that's pretty much the only chance we have of these guys surviving. Let's go. We are back at the pond. We got a lot of bait to get in there. These guys have been acclimating for about 30 minutes. They're ready to go. And it looks like our shad made it. So we're gonna get these guys in first. Where'd the other one just go? I don't know where he went, but I got a whole bunch of fish right here. Look at this. We got minnows, golden shiners, and a shad right there. Let's get them in. Come on, swim them away, gizzard shad. And if you guys don't know, there's a bunch of structure throughout this pond. The whole sides actually are made out of rock. So there's just a bunch of little hiding spots that all these little bait fish can kind of defend themselves. So they don't just get eaten right away. They're able to hide in. It's like a little ecosystem. Next scoop. I'm just gonna get a giant scoop. See what we get in here. Bro, I think we have probably 150 fish in there. We got some shiners and tilapia. Oh, we got fish jumping into the water here. Let's get him. This is like the third scoop or fourth scoop. Bunch of fish in here. I want to see if we can get, there's so many shiners. Look, that's all golden shiners right there. You can see why they call them golden. As they get bigger, that gold comes out more, but, oh, they jump a lot. Get these guys in right here. There they go. Oh my God. 
Bobby! Dude! You got him off the hook? That's a all day. Oh yeah, that's a that's a four pound, five pound bass right there. Look at that. Let's get him in the pond. Nice bass, dude. Holy cow. Look at the size of that thing. Right here in the backyard canal. Straight into the pond. You, you guys have been wanting a big bass, so shout out to Bob. He's the one who caught this guy. Right in the backyard canal, which is crazy. Yeah, right now we're just getting water through his gills. He's ready to go right it. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that fish right there. So pretty. That's the biggest bass I've collected. That's epic. Bob, give me some, man. Yeah. That was a great catch. That was a successful day. And I didn't want to catch getting caught in the lily pads like the other fish I had. So yeah. I didn't heat. Hi ho. Dude, that was that was a <laughs> nice bass. Our first like actual bass we've ever added to the pond. Four and a half pounder, which is crazy. That thing was that was a stud, Bob. Wow. What a successful day. Went out there, caught a whole bunch of bait. We even got some golden shiners, gizzard shad, tilapia, bunch of minnows, and to top it off, a massive largemouth bass. A lot of you guys have been wanting one of those, and we finally got one. So if you guys haven't already, drop a name in the comments down below. She or he is gonna definitely be a big part of the channel. I'm sure we'll see him later on in the future here, but that wraps up today's video. If you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see y'all in the next one. See you!